these are? Welcome back to Telepan TV. I'm Bill Telepan, and in our Thanksgiving series, we're gonna up next is gonna be rutabagas. And we're gonna show you how we do them here at the restaurant. And what we do here is we take the, the rutabaga and we cut off the stem and we sort of start peeling away at the outside. So you just wanna cut sort of like half inch sort of slices out of it. It's really difficult. If you want to, you can sort of cut out the one side like so first and then sort of set it down and then cut away from there. Cut some half, half inch slices. It's really still a hard vegetable to cut. And then from here, I'm just gonna sort of cut it into little bats like so. We have them cooking already because they take a little bit of time. We added about two, ta two tablespoons of butter and about two ounces of, of water or vegetable stock. And you start them slowly with a pinch of salt. And unlike the Brussels sprouts and the cauliflower, which we got color on, these we didn't want so much color on. So you basically take that and you're gonna sort of stew them or steam them with the lid on it for about 10 to 12 minutes until they get tender. So we're gonna let them stay like that for a bit. And we're gonna add a little more stock to it. We're gonna add some walnuts to it. And this will cook enough for about eight people or so. It's about like about, actually it's about four pounds of rutabaga, so about half a pound per person. Because after you trim them away. And then we're gonna add a little walnut oil to it to sort of boost that flavor a little. And I'm gonna add the famous telepan nugget of butter. So <laughs> just smell that coming out. You wanna use a pretty good quality walnut oil if you can, and they can sell them in little bottles. So this is a rather quick recipe too, it's just a matter of sort of making sure that the flame's at a good low level, it's stewed slow. If it takes a little longer than 10 to 12 minutes, and that's fine, you just wanna get it right. Again, this recipe, you could stop it at the point before you add the walnuts and the, and the additional stock and butter, and you can chill it and then put it back into the pan, add your walnuts, your walnut oil, a little stock and butter, and just sort of revive it, bring it back up. A nice little glaze going on there. The walnuts are all nice and soft now with the being in the stock. A lot of good flavor there. If you want to recreate Mama Telepan's dish, all you have to do after a certain point is sort of cook the rutabaga until it's really, really soft. And then mash them with a potato masher. Mark color, flavor. And there you have it. Rutabaga with walnuts, Telepan style. Happy Thanksgiving from us at Telepan and Telepan TV.